Hey everyone, it's ADS Diecast here. Today we're going to be looking at uh, Hot Wheels Car Culture uh, Premium Sets. Well, set. Um, uh, I pulled a random bag from the drawer, and that's how we'll do it from same as last time. Pull a random uh, bag out, and we'll see what we're looking at here. It looks like we'll be taking a look at uh, cargo carriers. This should be interesting. So the first car I pulled from that bag is the Busy Moto um, Honda Odyssey. I can't focus. Sorry if the cars are a bit dusty. They were covered in tissues. So they're probably going to be a bit dusty here, but um, other than that, they're, they should be mint. This Odyssey is an awesome casting. Looks amazing with those wheels, metal on metal with rubber tires. I'm sure you all know how uh, car culture works. Great tampos in the back. Paint is amazing. This will be a pretty short video here. It's usually with Tuesdays and Thursdays as an saying over and over again are usually going to be designated for cars that are already in my collection even though technically I am opening these up they're already loose so that's what I'm considering it um, instead of opening stuff and making this for um, a Saturday Sunday video um, next let's take a look at this Ford Transit Supervan the peg warmer of all peg warmers here which I don't really get because honestly I love this it looks amazing um, same construction as every other car, car culture. Um, don't really love the wheels, but I like the whole color scheme here. Love this casting. The golf has been done a bajillion times, but um, nothing wrong with that. I like golf. Nice and simple. All right. And next we'll take a look at this 69 Skyline. Actually, I'm going to dust it off real quick. Everybody's, a lot of believe is everybody's favorite from this set. I mean, how can you go wrong with that? The color is amazing, the wheels are amazing, the stance is great. All the right details. Very clean, very simple. It's got a brown interior, or I call it the uh, peanut butter interior. Next, we'll be taking a look at the um, Volkswagen Senegan. This awesome, like, woody. I actually don't know when this set came out. Um, maybe 2016, 2017. I don't really know. Um, pretty awesome piece. I'm just sorting them. Oops. I'm just kind of organizing them a little bit in the background on um, how I would rank this set. I'll show you guys that in a minute. And lastly, we got here should be oops, the Volkswagen bus T1 so it's a Volkswagen T1 Yeah, I, I haven't seen this set in a while. I used to already, uh, I used to have this set. I used to have almost every single car culture. And then I sold it all and I got back into it recently. And um, I never realized that this is actually the same deco as the uh, cool combi and the drag bus in the new car culture that's out now. Um, so that'll be actually a cool um, trio when I get that all together. Eventually when I get those sets. Because I don't think I had that in the drawer. No. Mm -hmm. No. I'm yet to get those sets, but that'll be cool when I have it all together. So that's the last one here. Like I said, a pretty short video today. Um, I do have something to show you guys. All this nonsense. Um, 
So, pick up the camera. So here's the rank of how I would rank them. Number one, honestly, love the Odyssey. I think the Busy Moto Honda Odyssey is awesome. Skyline, Volkswagen, uh, this one, and then that one last. I just I don't love that casting particularly. I guess I'm spoiled with my green lights. Um, but that is it for that. And just real quickly, um, do I have a light? Uh, I do. I built this, and it's still a work in progress. So I don't have a lot of space where I'm at. So I had to make my own, because I got this up here for my um, Mini GTs, which is actually full, which is pretty cool. Maybe I'll uh, have a full tour of that. And then my Auto Worlds are in there. Lots and lots and lots of cars. And I got my green light shelf, and then my Matchbox in the closet. Yeah, chaos. So I have this here. Which is called a, I don't have the box. It's called Girder and Panel. I don't know when they made it to, maybe mid 80s, started in the mid 70s, something like that. So there's these little, like literally girders and, and panels, whatever. Um, they have vertical pieces and horizontal pieces, and they, you can create these buildings. So I created this um, garage here for storage, if you want to call it a garage or whatever you want to call it. So I think it can fit at least 100 cars in there. That should be pretty cool to store Hot Wheels in there. But anyways, guys, like I said, short little video today. Um, and yeah, thank you for watching.